big jobs number? Question mark. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Friday, June the 4th. And of course, it was Jobs Friday today, and they delivered a number, um, which was uh, around, I don't know, 950,000. Now, was that a good number or a bad number? And I guess it depends on how you look at it. Uh, I mean, from a growth standpoint, I don't think it's anything special. Uh, I think that when you look at it, uh, you know, we're opening up the economy in full. So is is it a big number or not a big number? And, you know, again, it's hard to say how the street's interpreting, but it looks like based on the market action, the street is saying, hey, the Fed is not going to taper. So let's buy them up. And of course, you're seeing a rally across the board at the up 100, the NASDAQ almost 200, the S&P up 25, the Russell struggling up 31 points. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're, ta- they're pricing in probably no tapering. And of course, we're long across the board there. And the bond market is up a full point along with the notes, which again suggests that maybe they won't taper. Now, I do believe they probably will. Uh, but again, this is, you know, I can't, I can only trade what I have and we're long bonds and notes as well. Uh, gold and silver are charging higher. Okay. With a weaker dollar. Now, of course, we're long gold. We're long silver. Uh, we don't trade platinum anymore. And of course, uh, the dollar index were short. So, uh, we're in pretty good shape there as, uh, as the markets continue to go and uh, the dollar plays around that 90 level. Crude oil is higher. About 50 cents and, uh, you know, trying to test out that 70 level. Uh, it looks like it wants to go significantly higher. We'll see. Again, this is when you let the crooks in. Uh, you're going to have these kind of issues and that's what we would expect. It is not a surprise that crude is charging higher. Uh, it is, you know, nat gas a little bit lower and we're long. We're long crude, by the way, as well. Uh, but you know, again, we'll see where they go from. Copper is higher, but we are long copper. It's been a very volatile, uh, week in the copper, up big, down big. And overall, I think it's a down week, uh, but we're still long it uh, for now. And again, we'll see what happens by the end of the day. Um, as we look in the grain markets, uh, the grains are up nicely. Uh, you know, they've been very volatile again as well, which we are not surprised. And we warn you that these markets, the higher the prices get, the more volatile they're going to be. But they're all up at least 10, 12 cents or not more. Soybeans are up 25. And uh, the meats, well, cattle is under pressure once again, which we're short. We're long the grains except for wheat, and we're short cattle, both fats and feeders. Both are lower today. And we're long hogs, which are slightly higher. And in the uh, softs department, they're all up. So that's the easy part. Uh, we're short cotton. Uh, we're long coffee. We're long sugar. We're short cocoa. And we are long OJ. They're all higher at the moment. So, you know, we'll see. Look, it's, it's a more, it's a quieter market. We're playing. Uh, the, the street seems to be playing money and nothing else. So we will, we will see where we go from here. But again, we are on the right side of most markets. So we'll see indeed what's going to happen. In the meantime, don't forget about our partnership with family farms. Again, they have the same goals we do to help farmers defend and help hedge their crop and make sure that they take care of their money. Will they, will they take care of the farm? We'll help them with the money side. And of course, um, I can't wait for the conference in July. Sooner it's coming up soon. And of course, our, um, our, our brokerage partners. Now we have many brokers, but the two we prefer for futures and commodities is the first was the CTG group. And again, they do a terrific job. They handle all my accounts. They've got great customer service. They execute on time when they're supposed to. Okay. And it's that simple. And they do a wonderful job. Plus, they have some great managed futures products. You want to check them out? Go to info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And, of course, our equity and options partner, which is Tradier. Again, we do have other brokers in, 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 the, in the equities markets as well. But, again, we prefer Tradier. Why? Well, the first thing, it's $10 a month. I mean, that is hard to beat. Okay. But you take that plus great customer service. Plus, we have their APIs which allows us to automate our portfolio trading and our hedging. Again, you don't have to automate. You can stay wherever you are, or you can go to trader and not automate. It, it is a part of your membership. It doesn't cost you any more. You don't get charged any more brokerage fees. It is 10 bucks a month, including the automation. 
if you choose. If not, hey, it's up to you. It's your choice. But trade your brokerage. Terrific partner. And, of course, our commodity report written by Andy Heck. I, there's nothing like it. Quarterlies are coming up soon. If you're trading commodities or in that space and you're not reading this, you're making a mistake. Go to Bubba Trading and check out Technomental. And and we have our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy. And let's see what how the markets end up today. It is quiet. Uh, but have a great weekend. We'll see you back Sunday with Bubba's Bottom Line. Have a great one, everybody. We'll see you later.